Official figures from the Interior Ministry suggest that we've seen more of a trickle than a flood of voters for this first round nationwide. What more can you tell us from where you are? Hi there, Thomas. Yes, very low turnout figures uh, as of 5 p.m. today in France compared with the last regional elections back in 2015. So let me just give you those figures again. Turnout across mainland France as of 5 p.m. was 26.72%, just over a quarter of all registered voters. Uh, back in 2015, it was up at 43%. So we've seen a really significant drop there. We'll have to wait and see if, you know, more people do turn out towards the the end of the day, voting closing at 8 p.m. here. Uh, but those figures could be putting us on track for record abstention. Some opinion poll estimates say that abstention could be as high as 68 percent, more than two thirds of voters not bothering to show up. So we'll have to wait and see if, if that is confirmed. And here in the greater Paris region, by the way, those figures are even lower. 21.97% of voters have turned out by 5 p.m. This polling station, we were told, just 25%. So uh, it really is a, a lack of enthusiasm for uh, these elections. I've been speaking to people around Paris today and they've been telling me that they just don't really care about regional elections that much after everything they've been through with the coronavirus pandemic, um, that there's not that much at stake for them. Other people saying they don't know who to choose from. The political scene in France is really fragmented, of course. We've got uh, Marine Le Pen's uh, national rally, previously called the National Front, has been uh, everyone's watching to see what they will do in this elections. The left is fragmented. There's a battle on for the right. And who knows what the Greens could do. So it, it really is interesting to watch less than a year ahead of the presidential election to see what takes place. Okay, Catherine Norris-Trent in central Paris. Thank you very much.